Oh, uh, hiya. Nice of you to join me again for another unboxing. Look at this. <laughs> I hope it's, it weighs a ton. I hope it's okay. This is from the US of A, this. Another American import. Now, until today, all the American vacuums I've imported have been Hoover vacuums. This one isn't a Hoover. This one, as you know, is a Dyson. And you might say, oh, why is, why is Mr. Ibasic importing Dysons? He lives in England, where Dysons came from. Originally they did, yes. Well, I'm unboxing this one, or trying to, because this particular model, the DC-28 Air Muscle, not to be confused with the DC-28C, the canister model that we have. Um, yeah, you couldn't buy this in the UK. It was never available. It's just exclusive, I believe, to America, possibly Canada. I don't know any other countries had it, but we certainly didn't have it officially in the UK. So I thought I'd get one. Right, well, I'm just going to remove all this packaging off camera and we'll see if the Dyson has survived the long journey. Well, I'm halfway there. It's absolutely caked in dust. So I'm gonna have to give it a bit of a wipe down. Right, one half done, the other half to go. Okay, folks, here it is in reasonable condition. I just hope it works. I've just dropped my magic box. I just dropped this, fetching it. So I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping I haven't broken it because I need this step-down converter to uh, actually operate this American voltage vacuum in the UK because of course this operates on 120 volts whereas we use 240 volts in the UK and I'm hoping this has got a high enough um, rating because I don't know if it will show the wattage on here so American vacuums don't tend to sh show the wattage they tend to show the um, amps. I can't see it being more than 1400 to be honest. Dyson's never really had very high wattage cleaners. So anyway, it came with, for some reason, this, which I'm pretty sure wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have come with it, but it was in the box. This is a much earlier. This I've got one of these on my DC-15 Animal. It also came with this head again I'm not sure if it's supposed to have that head with it and for some reason a bit ominously it came with another cable and I think it is a Dyson cable oh and I've just noticed oh dear just noticed that the cable on this has got oh it's got several oh, perhaps that's why they've put the cable in perhaps that's why they have because it's got several repairs. I'm going to risk it for the to turn it on quickly. So hopefully it'll be okay. I don't know if this is even a Dyson. I think it is a Dyson cable. This is going to probably need a lot of work. Yeah, this could be a Dyson cable. I'm not, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's going to have to have a replacement cable. Now I know I can still buy parts for this, but obviously not in this country. I can get them... I think Amazon have, have the whole cleaner head. I think this machine was prone to faults. You can buy the whole cleaning head, which includes the brush roll, the uh, brush roll motor, all the gubbins for around a hundred something dollars. Plus it'll cost me to ship. You can buy the bin. You can, I think you can buy most of the parts. So we'll see what I need to do with it. But it's different. It looks a bit like a DC 27, DC 33 that we had in our country. But the main thing that differs between this machine and the ones we had is the auto, well, it's not an automatic height control. It has these controls on the top. So you've got your main on off, but you've got different settings. You've got a bare floor setting it's just a touch it doesn't really go in very much the on off switch goes in but these buttons just press and pop out again you've got bare floor function not sure if that turns off the brush roll short pile medium and deep pile 
when you press these buttons, I believe it lights up if it works, and it should adjust the cleaner head to suit the setting. Right, well I'm gonna just, I'm gonna plug it in now and get it over with and see if it works. Okay, I'm at uh, hopefully a safe distance. So I'm going to uh, plug it in now. It's plugged into the box here and it's turned on. I just need to turn it on at the wall socket and I've switched it on at the cleaner. Oh, I always hate this part. Especially, it's even worse with American vacuums because of course, the different voltages involved, but hopefully my box is still working after I dropped it. The suction motor sounded okay. Obviously it's in the upright position, so the brush roll wasn't going. So the motor sounds fine. I've got to be very careful around the flex where it's been repaired. That wasn't uh, mentioned, of course, in the listing that uh, the cable was repaired, but never mind. Just be careful. Okay, I'm going to switch it on again. Switched it off at the cleaner. Now in the absence of an instruction book, I'm not sure what it means, but this, the red light here, the mains light, was flashing. <laughs> well, it was flashing, folks, but it isn't anymore. Okay, so let's put it in the operating position and see if we get any joy. Okay, right, I've unplugged it so I can have a bit of a closer look. Now it sounds, I don't know if that's correct, but it sounds okay to me. Um, the display here was lighting up as I press the button. Bare floor does turn off the brush roll motor. So that functioned. And I could detect something going on down below. I couldn't see anything. I'm gonna have to get my camera at uh, floor level and see what's happening when I press those buttons. It's missing, it's got one tool here, the combination tool, it's missing the stair tool, which would fit there, but um, I'll find out which tools are supposed to come with this. It'll have filters that will need a wash. Let me just pop it, pop it upside down. We'll have a look underneath. This is going to need a bit of work and um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it, but we'll see. I think it's all working. So here's the underside. It's not too bad. The brush roll is probably okay. But as I said, if I need to replace the brush roll, I think I'll have to replace the whole assembly. I'm not sure whether you could buy the brush roll. I think you couldn't. That's broken. One of these bars here. So it's got some... It's got a lot of gubbins in it, hasn't it? I'm sure my American viewers will be more familiar with this machine. Now, there is a spring here, but it's a bit loose. I'm not sure where that's supposed to go to. If it, oh, there's a hole there. I wonder if it goes in there. I'm gonna put it in there anyway. Yes, I think it probably does, possibly. Oh yes, because the spring on the other side is in that hole. So there's two springs to keep it, you know, moving and then there's this device here which you can see it this black thing that is supposed to you can see it moving in and out i think it's a sort of a pneumatic principle pneumatic with a p not with an n so 
as I said, I could hear some changes going on, but let's see if we can see what happens at the cleaner head when I press the buttons on the top of the machine. So I'm going to start it off and see what happens when I press short pile, medium, and then deep pile. Hopefully we will see some action going on at the base of the machine here at the cleaner head. Okay, so we'll put it in the operating position. I'm going to turn it on and select short pile first and then I'll run through to medium pile and then deep pile. Now I couldn't see anything moving, whether or not we're supposed to see something moving, I'm not sure. I thought you would have seen something happening. I don't know whether it's going to work. Anything will happen if I show you it with the cleaner on its front like that. I'm not sure if it's going to do anything like that, but hopefully we'll be able to see if anything's going on down here. So I'm not sure how well the camera picked that up, but it seems that this part doesn't actually move. What is actually moving though is the brush roll that was moving. You can see it moves that side. So I think is this folks, if you're watching from the USA, if you've got one of these, is this how this DC8, DC8, DC28 muscle Head? Is it muscle head? What's it called? Muscle, air muscle, not muscle head, air muscle. Is this what it should do? Should the, the pressing on the buttons just move this part? I watched a video, a Dyson video, and it looked like this bit was moving, this uh, black bellows type thing. But as long as it's doing as it should, you know, fairly happy with it. I probably will, when I've got a bit more money, import one of these complete cleaner heads. But I'm going to clean it up as much as I know how to. You can see there's here um, access port in case there's a blockage. It's definitely going to need a new cable put on it. I'm not happy about using it uh, with that repaired cable. I haven't looked at the tools yet, have I? I haven't taken the hose out. I haven't looked at the filters. I expect they're fairly dirty. I mean it is, it's not as bad as it could have been. You know it's not filthy. I wonder if the any, I don't know, see I think this is because this is a pretty unique model. I don't know if this bin is the same as any of the bins on our UK versions. It'll look very similar. Anyway, it tells you a bit about it on this sticker. Dyson's most advanced cleaner head technology, engineered to pick up more dirt. Air muscle technology removes embedded dirt and pet hair, fingertip controls for floor settings. Pet hair pickup, powerful pet hair removal. Easy high reach, 17 foot quick draw wand and hose, five year warranty. So obviously this, this will come off, won't it? Well, that's, em you empty, ooh. I don't think, I think that was already in it, that dirt. That's not off this carpet. Oh, there we go. Yes, it's got the same silver button to remove the cyclone. It's a uh, root, root cyclone technology. So all this will clean. I can take all this apart. This is, this is going to be something I'll probably do in the summertime. It might be the summer when you're seeing this. I'm not sure. Two filters to wash. I think they are both washable. So we have filter A and filter B. 
filter B is the pre-motor, filter A is the post-motor. Says on filter A, three months, wash every three months. Assume that means you wash both filters every three, three months. Oh, you know, not too bad, is it? Could just vacuum that off. Ew. I hope that's dog hair. Well, it might be human hair. Quite uh, dusty in there, isn't it? Is that, is that, well, that was the way around it was in the thing. Is that correct, though? Because to me, no, I'd say that's, is that, I think that's the wrong. I think that's the correct the correct way because that way no I'm sure this way fits better please tell me in the comments is it do you put the filter in with the tap indicator that way up because that seems to fit better not sure I'm going to try I'm going to try and put it in that way anyway so that slots back in there hopefully well, that does fit oh but first jumped the gun a bit I need to uh, recline the handle. Oh no, you don't recline the handle. You just oh, it does come over. Here's uh, filter B. Hang on a minute. Let me adjust myself. I'm all over the place. There we are. It's not too bad. I'll be able to buy a replacement of that, but again, it's probably one I'd have to import. I've not had much luck importing spare parts. Parts warehouse. I wouldn't recommend them. Just had to put in a PayPal claim. I only ordered one other part. I ordered a, a several parts. Most of them weren't available. And I ordered one part that was available for the um, Hoover Z that I've got. And they said they dispatched it. it. Never turned up. I forgot all about it, to be honest, until I remembered. And then I put in a claim and I got my money back. But I really wanted the part because it said it had been dispatched. So it is washable, though. It's no great shakes. I'll wash that. I'm not going to replace that it'll probably be a silly price I expect especially if I have to import it now was it that way up or that way up? No, it was that way up the darker side down because it had all the carbon dust on it oh that's what you do you push it forward there we are there we go that's it I think I can look at the instructions online of this machine which will give me some hints and tips it's quite a noisy machine and a big clunky device probably performed pretty well on your American carpets finally let's look at the wand setup and this internal hose so I think to remove the hose you've got to lift up the end cap and just pull pull out the wand yeah it comes out quite smoothly yeah it just lifts off and then of course we can I think yes detach detach the hose if we want to it's not um, too bad actually and so that's pretty clean isn't it look at that it's pretty clean quite a hefty hose that it's a big big cleaner this so there's the hose and the wand so yeah the tools go on the end so just to check I don't think this is the right tool now look I didn't think it was for this, but anyway, I've got a spare. That'll clean up okay if I need a spare contact head, is that? It is for an animal cleaner, but it's uh, a much earlier. It could be a DC-14 animal, even a DC-07. I think you've got DC-07s in the USA. But yeah, those tools don't fit this. I didn't think they did. So we can pop the hose back on. I have unplugged this if you're wondering I'm not, I'm not fiddling about with it especially with that uh, cable I'm not going to fiddle while it's plugged in and then that little pops back in there that goes down so I think you know I might get away you know it's, it was quite expensive to get here obviously not too expensive to buy it but quite expensive to obviously import and the customs fees and all that palaver so if I can clean it up without spending any more money that would be better really I don't really want to go too mad uh, you know spending too much I mean I would like a new cleaner head that would certainly renew this I mean if I got a new cleaner head here it probably would improve the performance because it would have a brand new brush roll 
Um, and a lot of the damage is on this cleaner head where it's obviously rubbed against the furniture and baseboards and things. I might be able to get the bin. It's not, the bin isn't too bad. I might be able to polish that up. There's a little bit of damage on the purple part of the, the cyclone top. Um, but I'll see what I can do. I'll see. But if one day I feel I can afford it, I will look into getting a lot more parts. The, the missing tools, well, I'll replace the tools on it. The hose is fine, the wand will be fine. It is mainly the head, possibly the bin, but I'll see. I'm not too fussed about it. Obviously, it does need a new cable fitting. I will see. I'm assuming, I don't know, is this cable original? I'm not sure if this is this is the cable it would have had because the cable that's been put in the box is a lighter colour. I think this goes better with the machine but obviously I can't leave it with a damaged cable and there's no way of shortening this cable either because it's it's damaged in several places. It's fine if it had a bit of damage near the plug end. Well probably not because I wouldn't be able to put a, an American plug on. I don't know what would happen there. So. Yes, it's a project, but a project for another day. As I said, I might do it in the summer when we've got some nice drying weather in case I need to clean out the cyclone. Just wind up the cable. But it's always interesting to have a look at cleaners that we can't officially buy in the United Kingdom. There we are, crack it is a heavy beast. Oh, it's so heavy. You can see why now, actually. Oh. It probably, once it's all done up, it probably is a good performer and it probably uh, did clean well in your American homes. But at the time of making the video for this, I'm currently playing around with this look. The very latest Dyson, the V11. It's actually quite full. See all that there, look. That's mainly though, I used this in another video when I was cleaning out some fluff from, from a vintage Electrolux upright. It had absolutely tons, you might have seen that video, but it had tons and tons of fluff inside the agitator. I've never seen so much and the whole cleaner itself looked absolutely spotless. But this is okay. Um, by the time you see this, this would have gone back. Uh, I'm not saying I'll not get another one. I will get another one I expect, but I will choose the regular blue colour, not this part gold, you know. I like I don't mind this gold, it's just the gold of the wand. I just it doesn't match. It just looks cheap. It's not not the sort of thing I expect on a six hundred pound vacuum. But uh yeah, I have bought myself a V10, which seemed a bargain compared to this, so I haven't opened it yet, only right today, by the time I'm making this video, so I would have done by now, you should have seen. A comparison between the V11 and the V10 so if any of you were a bit upset you just bought a V10 and the V11 comes out hopefully by the time you see that comparison you might think oh well I'm quite happy with the V10 I'll wait until that goes kaput and upgrade but by then you might be looking at a V14 who knows I think a V12 will be next uh, but not a V13 I don't think Dyson will use the 13 number unlucky for some okay that's it I can hear my dog Daisy whining for her tea so I will leave you at that quite interesting to look at today you Dyson fans a Dyson air muscle DC 28 if you have any comments or questions or if you can help me out with anything especially if you're viewing from America or Canada, please let me know in the comments section below. And I'll see you all for the next video very soon. Bye for now.